Okay, hello, how was that? A, uh, a show this evening, how was that? It was enjoyable, yeah. You've been on tour with Slayer, um, has it been good, enjoyable, or...? Very much so. Uh, it was gonna take off this, this winter, but I, it seems Tom hurt his neck and did, did some surgery. Now he's back on his on his feet. Um, no, it's going really well, and it's it's been it's it's one of those tours that we've been hoping to get the opportunity to do this tour forever. Um, they've always spoken really well of us, um, and they're they're a huge influence on us as a band. It's. It's just a fact, though. Mm -hmm. Now, it's been two years since your last album, Versus. Has it? I believe so, yes. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it has been. Almost. If not, it was released in 2008. Wasn't it? A year and a half. Near enough, then. Has it been, um... <laughs> being pedantic. <laughs> has it been uh, as successful as the other albums? I have no clue. <laughs> we, we've we've been more or less constantly on tour, so I I, I suppose it's done something. Uh, I don't know. I don't I don't look at albums as you know in 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 terms of of you see that that's it's like what is success? What is what is a successful album? So how do you how do, how would you define it? Hey, that's that's I'll have to turn the question back to you. And what how would you define it? What well, that's, it, that's a question that that has many many. It, levels, it would depend uh, what what reason you was making the music for, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, if you wanted money, you would look at record sales. If you wanted just to make the music, then how satisfied you personally are with the ah, album? Ah, see. Uh, that's that's what that's like the main reason for us is we make music because we love making music and we make music so we can continue touring. <laughs> it's because that's that's well, it's it's a two you know it's a two part thing. We we tour because that's how we make our living. Um, and if it wasn't for the fact that the business kind of demands records, I'm not sure we'd be making records. I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm kind of thinking that we'd probably just make songs and tour. You know? <laughs> but in many ways, I think the the business as such almost demands records to make uh, bands to make records. Mm -hmm. It's not so much about whether you have a finished record or not. It's like this this endless cycle of new, new, new product, new product, new product. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cheesy when you think about it because it's is it really relevant you know it's it seems kind of unmodern but that's what I think you know it seems pretty orthodox mm -hmm. to, to look at it in those terms yeah well we'll move on <clears throat> um, was it well would you agree that it was the album before the dead eye where you started to sort of experiment a bit more with the band I think we yeah I think we we started getting a little more confident in what we wanted to try out and it's really good that we did that I mean that that that's turned out to be probably the the best move we could have ever made uh, so it's it's with a great deal of confidence and and how do you say that well I mean we're really looking forward to doing this next album because it's uh, it's gonna take take what we started back with dead eye even even a lot further Okay, now uh, any interview with you, I think you've got to ask about the internet. So, has the internet in general been good for metal? I think the internet is extremely important for any non mainstream cultural phenomenon whatsoever. Um, because it enables us as ordinary people to uh, to reach a lot of other people uh, in a way that we can't do otherwise. The traditional media channels, which is you know radio, television, and even internet uh, to certain ex certain extent, uh, is immensely streamlined and linear in in what it chooses to 
uh, communicate in, in world view and, and, and perception of reality. And uh, so I think the internet is really, really important for metal. You know, it's important for, for any kind of subculture whatsoever. Yeah. So um, you're quite in, you're quite active on the internet. Do you go around and look at reviews and that kind of thing for? <laughs> no, uh, that's no, that's uh, that's what you would call a ego scan. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, <clears throat> a l maybe I stopped doing that maybe seven or s seven or eight years ago. I. <sighs> Up until then, it was there was still some sort of curiosity towards how how I I I was so curious about how do people perceive you know me or what we do as a group. But then as, as I I came to some kind of understanding that it's really beside the point for me. You know, it has nothing to do with me. It has to do with some other person's perception of things, and they're entitled to whatever whatever perception is, it is they have. Uh, what's more important for me is my perception of things. So, in order to not delude that, uh, and and to to uh, to kind of find a focus and and uh, a strong sense sense of I don't know direction and and just positive energy. I, I suppose I. I I just realized that ah, it's, it's not important for me, so I, I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, now you were with The Haunted for the first album. Yep. And then you went and came back for the fourth album. Yep. What was you doing in this gap? Uh, I was learning a lot of things, uh, and I was... I think I had two start growing up. I think that's what I had to do. Um, and I think that's what I did. It it entailed a lot of like really big awakenings for me. Um, I've been living in a tour bus for, for a long time when I, when I stopped. And when I first started playing metal it wasn't because I was a metal dude. I, I was one of those guys you see with an acoustic guitar and, and a hat <laughs> laid out in front of me to, for change. That's what I did. And um, it was really weird, you know, to go from having been... Because because you become like this person in, in this, this scene of, of, of music business people doing and reaching a certain level of, I suppose... Um, <sighs> success like what you were saying earlier but uh, suddenly like from from one day to another people wouldn't even say hi to me anymore and that was really 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 good for me mm -hmm. uh, because I it hurt and it it made me realize that it's that what I had perceived as something that that I was striving for is something that is completely I superficial. It's just false. And I I started working as as a songwriter again, just you know, because of guitar and and trying to get back to what I wanted to do as far as music. What what is the point? You know, what is what am I doing with music? And I it is I do really have a hope to communicate something. And uh, I had to really work hard, and I. I got things back together. I got a new band, etc. But as the years kind of went went by, um, I, I realized I really missed the guys in the band because um, there is something extremely intense with this band. And seeing someone else singing, uh, it's like that's not right. <laughs> That's how I felt. And I never thought they'd actually ask me back in the band because I, I really felt like like I betrayed the whole band when I left. I felt it, it was so hard. It was so hard. It was like I'm gonna have to quit this band because I'm I'm not gonna be able to do this because I'm not feeling right about myself and it in it and every I because I wasn't I wasn't feeling right about anything at the, at that moment. But as it turned out, I was brought back in, you know, I'm really, really happy I was. Mm -hmm.